Hey guys, it's Matt Higgins. So in this video, I want to give you guys who haven't had the opportunity to read many of the new canon Star Wars books, a video that explains which books I recommend for prequel trilogy fans. So this list is going to include adult novels and excludes movie novelizations. So instead of placing each book in a ranking, I'm going to be putting the books into tiers, three tiers. Tier three novels are loosely connected this means the novel has relatively less prequel connections than many of the other novels. Tier 2 novels are connected, meaning that the novel has multiple tie-ins to the prequel trilogy. And finally, Tier 1 novels are prequel-based novels or novels that are set partly in the prequel trilogy. So starting off with Tier 3, our first novel is Lost Stars. Lost Stars is a very good read but has few prequel references and is primarily based on the Imperial Perspective. Next up, we have Heir to the Jedi, which focuses on Luke Skywalker after the destruction of the first Death Star. This novel has been criticized for not tying into the main storyline and is somewhat disjointed. Next, we have A New Dawn. A New Dawn is a prequel novel to the Star Wars Rebels TV series. The exposition of this novel does take place during the prequel era. The first Aftermath novel features several prequel era planets and a modified battle droid, but overall, the first Aftermath book is not as heavy with prequel references as the following two books in the trilogy. Battlefront Twilight Company was a novel that accompanied the Star Wars Battlefront video game that followed a group of rebel soldiers called Twilight Company. This book takes place in 3 ABY and features very few prequel tie-ins. The next novel is Phasma. And as you guessed, Phasma focuses entirely on the origin of Captain Phasma, Thus, it is not as heavily tied into the prequel trilogy as other novels are. The last novel in the Tier 3 category is Last Shot. This story takes place partly before Solo, a Star Wars story, and partly after Return of the Jedi, but is relatively light on prequel tie-ins. Moving on to Tier 2, the first novel in this list is Tarkin. Tarkin features multiple flashbacks to the Clone Wars, some old Clone Wars era weaponry being used by the Rebels, and both Senator Palpatine and Count Dooku make appearances. Lords of the Sith is the next novel. This novel focuses on Palpatine and Vader's relationship and takes place mostly on Ryloth and features many Clone Wars connections. Star Wars Bloodline focuses on the New Republic in the context of the Galactic Republic's mistakes. Leia is the main character in this novel, but this novel features many prequel era aliens Bail Organa ends up becoming a key figure in the story, and also features many representatives of prequel era planets. The next two novels are Aftermath Life Dead and Aftermath Empire's End. Both of these novels feature Kashyyyk heavily. Naboo also makes several appearances, and a few other Clone Wars era planets are in the mix as well. Battlefront 2 Inferno Squad also makes this list with a Clone Wars character playing a main character. The last novel on the tier 2 list is Thrawn. Thrawn is an excellent read and features many old Clone Wars era droids and weaponry that play a real integral part in driving the story forward. Lastly, for the tier 1 novels, the first novel in tier 1 is Dark Disciple. Dark Disciple follows Asajj Ventress and Quinlan Vos during the Clone Wars as they attempt to assassinate Dooku. This novel was based on an incomplete story arc from the Clone Wars TV series. Next, we have my personal favorite, Catalyst Rogue One novel. This novel takes place partly during the end of the Clone Wars and ties in well to Rogue One. After the Jedi Purge, the majority of the novel takes place on Coruscant. Saw Gerrera is featured heavily in this novel, and it also discusses the origin of the Death Star back in the days of the Republic. Next, we have Thrawn Alliances. Thrawn Alliances features two parallel storylines, the first one taking place right after the end of Star Wars Rebels Season 3, and the other one taking place during the Clone Wars. Anakin and Padme also play key characters in the Clone Wars storyline. Next up, we have the just newly released Queen's Shadow. This novel focuses on Queen Amidala's transition from Queen to Galactic Senator. And the last novel in this list is Master and Apprentice, which is not yet released but will be coming out in April. This novel will focus on Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon before the events of The Phantom Menace. 
that's going to do it here for this video, guys. Make sure that if you want to join in the live streams, that you join in every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have some very good discussions, and I very much enjoy uh, being able to interact with you guys personally. So other than that, have a great weekend, and may the Force be with you always.